Hey there, I'm Chef Leander, and this is Small Kitchen Big Taste. And today we're gonna try a recipe that I wrote years ago. If you've never made bread before, this is a really easy one to start with. A focaccia bread is an olive oil and herb infused Italian bread. So we're gonna start with one third cup of olive oil. We're gonna put this in a little bowl to set and steep. I've also done this where I just use the blender and that works really well, but it doesn't look as pretty. So you can decide how much of a hurry you're in and make your choices from there. Here is garlic that I roasted in the oven. And you can see that it's just paste. So I'm gonna take that garlic paste. Oh my goodness, this smells amazing. Put that garlic paste in the olive oil. And here I have fresh rosemary. I've got a couple of pieces I'm gonna save for later. Those will be garnish on the finished dish. And this I'm just gonna strip. If you pull it backwards, you can strip all of the leaves off and leave that tough stem in the middle. And then I'm just gonna rough chop this. We're gonna put that rosemary in here. We'll give it a stir. And we're just gonna let that sit there and marinate while we put the bread dough together. As you know by now, I'm a big fan of cooking with a gram scale. This is bread flour, and we need 432 grams of bread flour. That's three cups, but we're gonna measure it out really carefully. When you make bread, bread is all about the proportions of the ingredients and how the ingredients react with one another. There we go, 432. So there's our flour. We're all familiar with yeast. We know that. Then there's salt and sugar. So when you put the bread together, the yeast is gonna be the leavening, but the salt and the sugar help the leavening happening. The sugar feeds the rising of the bread. The salt stops it before it overtakes your uh, house-like little shop of horrors. So we're going to do this. We're going to put the yeast in first. And notice, uh, I am going to set the tear on the gram scale to zero. For yeast, I need eight grams. So I'm going to make three wells, and I'm going to keep these three ingredients separate from one another until I'm ready to mix them. Eight grams of yeast. That's eight. Now, if you don't have a gram scale, it's in the recipe that that's a tablespoon. Then we've got sugar, and we need nine grams. Okay, there we go. And then for salt, we want 10 grams. Salt is considerably heavier, so one spoon was all we needed. Give me a moment, and I'm going to set up our mixer. So now it's time to put the bread together. If you don't have a dough hook on your mixer, this is easy to do on a counter and knead it. We'll talk about that in a minute. And I'm gonna let it mix for a bit. That's mixing the salt and the sugar and the yeast all the way through the dough, okay? So we'll let that work. While that's happening, I'm going to measure out my water. Here's another place where every gram counts. The temperature on the water is important. You just need to be within a good range. So if it feels barely warm, I'm going to go for a cup there, see how much it weighs. So what I need is 255 milliliters or grams of water. See what that does, that's 255, perfect. 
And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of our herb mixture. That just goes in the middle of the well here. And that's going to knead into the dough. Don't want to go in too fast because that'll make it foof all over the kitchen. If you have a KitchenAid, you've done that once in your life and only once. I'm just pushing the flour on the sides down into the middle. And you can see that we're starting to form a little bit of a dough ball and it's starting to take shape and you just want to let that run for three minutes while that's happening i'm taking a wet towel i'm going to go put it in the microwave set the microwave for one minute and then when it's finished i'm not going to open it yet while that's happening i'm going to take a mixing bowl so I'm just putting a circle of olive oil around the top we are about halfway finished with the bread kneading if you're doing this by hand you just flour your work surface put the bowl out push into it flip it over in half push into it again twist by a quarter push into it again and uh, I'll make a video for that in a little while. I'm going to take this off the hook, use my hands to shape this into a ball. And I'm pulling the top over so that the top gets nice and even. And I'm going to now set this in the bowl upside down, roll it around a little bit so it gets covered on the outside with the olive oil, then turn it bottom side down do that again and that bread is ready to raise i'm just going to take a clean kitchen towel put it over the top of the bowl and then this bowl is going in the microwave i'm not turning on the microwave i'm going to open the door and close it as quickly as possible but it's just going to sit in that hot moist microwave space as it raises. So it's been an hour and 15 minutes. So let me grab the bread. And you can see how much the bread has risen in the pan. It's at least double what we started with. So now there's a thing called punching down, just like that. And I'm gonna punch this down, get it, get most of the air out of it. Turn it out on a silpat, and I'm going to prepare this for my 9 by 13 pan. Now, if you don't have a rolling pin, that's fine. If you want to roll out with something, try a wine bottle. It works just as well. So we're going to turn this over and put it oil side down. Massage this just a little bit so that it fits perfectly in the pan. Use your fingers to make all kinds of little dimples. We have this herb mix that we put together. Put this on, and then I'm just gonna spread it around. I wanna get it in all those nooks and crannies. Now we have one more step, and that is another rise of the bread. Uh, I'm going to just put this on the oven behind me. The oven is heating up at 375 degrees. So I'm going to put this at the front edge of the oven and just let this sit underneath a towel to prevent a draft and just let it raise. This is a very short raise. So we'll see you again in 15 minutes. And you can see that the bread has risen a little bit. We don't want it to be really big because we want it to be thick and chewy. So that's what it's going to look like. And we're going to put it in the oven. The oven is set at 375. And we're going to set the timer for exactly 30 minutes. And there it is. It is finished. And take a look at this. It looks 
fabulous. There it is. And so now it's cool enough to handle and we're ready to put it on the table. I am sure people are around trying to encourage you to do it sooner. All right, so I'm just gonna take this bread, the focaccia out, put it on the cutting board and then just give it a quick cut. If I cut it down the middle first, then I've got nice one serving pieces. I can go here. Let the knife do the work for you. Don't press down. And then I love this plate. Leaving it on a diagonal looks really attractive. And there you are. Take that to the table and see if there's still bread on it when you get there. This is fantastic fresh focaccia. I'm Chef Leander to your health.